Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is s'more season at the Millionaire House and today I'm sharing a backyard tour and giving you some quick ideas on how to spruce up your space for summer. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the first video in a series of videos that I'm gonna do for you all about um, your outdoor space and making it more usable for the summer months. So today we're actually going to spruce up the space by cleaning it up and I'm gonna share a few um, budget-friendly ideas on things that you can do to update your outdoor space. So I hope you enjoy this video and I don't ask for this very often, but I'm gonna ask that you like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and turn on your post notifications because the post notification squad is going to have early access to a couple of giveaways that I'm gonna give this summer, but you've gotta have your notifications on so you can be one of the first people to comment. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. This wicker furniture is at least 10 years old. It came from Pier 1 a long time ago and I'm just not ready to get rid of it. So we give it a coat of spray paint once a year. And I recently found this outdoor dining set from a model home and I'm gonna show you guys how I dress that up as well. So here's a quick view of what the entire outdoor space looks like. The first step in this summer's refresh was to move all of the furniture off the back porch because it really needed a refresh from top to bottom. So we like to make it a group effort at the Millionaire House. I love to get the kids involved. It really teaches them a sense of pride and home ownership and how to take care of their things. I think my favorite part about our backyard is that we live on a nature preserve and we get to experience all sorts of beautiful wildlife every single day. And it really is a great experience for both us and the kids. As you can see, we had our work cut out for us with the flooring. Uh, there were some cracks that needed to be sealed and it was time for a really good pressure washing. So the guys got started with that and got everything all cleaned off. Once everything was dry, I came through with a sealant for concrete cracks and made all of the necessary repairs. And here's a quick shot of all the products I used um, to seal the cracks and to spray paint. I like Rust-Oleum for outdoor furniture and the color is espresso. And then we seal it with a clear mat. And once the sealant was dry, it was time to paint. And so I used the Valspar uh, porch floor and patio paint in white. And once the paint was dry, it was time to anchor the spaces with area rugs. My friends at Plush Rugs sent me these rugs to share with you. This is an indoor outdoor rug and the link will be in the description box below. A styling tip when using bold stripes, run the stripes horizontally with the width of your space to give the illusion of more space. And I would normally recommend pulling the colors from inside of the home into your exterior space, but I decided to live on the edge a little bit, at least for summer, and I love it. And I chose this rug by Kaz for the dining space. I love that the colors complement the exterior paint colors of the home. So one more quick before look. And here is the after. I got this fire pit table a couple years ago and it is available on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description box below for you. It's definitely too warm to use during the day in summer in Florida, but we do use it during the evenings to make s'mores with the kids. I style the end tables with some gorgeous hurricanes and planter boxes. And this will be the first summer that we have this um, outdoor dining space usable with the furniture. So I'm excited to come out here and have breakfast on a Saturday morning. I tried to do a tablescape that was kind of festive for Memorial Day weekend. And I have to tell you this cupcake Ferris wheel from Pier 1 stole the show. 
And I'll be honest, I'm not even sure if that's what it's for, but when I saw it, I immediately thought, cupcakes, <laughs> look at how cute this is. My kids have been having so much fun with it already. Also from Pier 1 are these adorable melamine salad plates, which I got for 40% off. To achieve this look, I started with the yellow and white striped placemat from Pottery Barn, followed by a red charger, followed by the navy and white dinner plate, which I found at Home Goods, and then the salad plate. And then I added the yellow bowls on top for ice cream and dessert. I thought these blue cups would be a nice touch too, and I also found those at Pier 1. The Target Dollar Spot had these really cute straws, and I'm going to show you guys in the next video how I use those. The tabletop citronella torches I found at Walmart, and we obviously moved those when we sat down to eat. All in all, I'm super excited with how all of these simple updates made a huge impact in this space. I hope this video got your creative juices flowing and check back in the next video. I'm going to be sharing some cocktails and mocktails for summer until then I'm wishing you guys much love and peace.